you might not like what you see. And this message is, is all about the universal mirror. And I'm just being guided to remind everybody that what facilitates your growth usually comes in the most uncomfortable of forms. And right now, this is all about wounds coming to the surface that stem from your rejection, from your lack of trust in self, from not being heard in spaces and places throughout your life. This is, is pieces of yourself that you've rejected, that you feel you have to prove yourself to people. And so for many, it, it, you, you're feeling this disconnect with people around you, whether it, it's your friends, your family, whoever. And it, some of you are almost being pulled into like, I don't want to call it isolation in a bad way, but more like, you know, if we call it like a hermit mode, right? because this is a time for you to start dealing with this shit and the thing is we're, we're being called to look at you know places where we sit in judgment or jealousy or this is really about transcending our ego right now right and it's it's reflecting inwards because what our external reality is a projection of our internal reality so the things that you are struggling with this is your time for them to come to the surface for many of us, if we're honest, we've run from this shit a lot of our lives. And, and, and many who, who have embarked on their own individual journeys, you know, this is the confronting of the shadow. The power is in your shadow. It is that simple. These are the pieces and parts of you that you have rejected, right? So you have to be willing to confront yourself. Take a good hard look in the mirror, right? Because change starts with you. You have to be the change you wish to see. It's not about waiting for everything to adapt to you. You hold the reins. You are in control. So the change is only going to start when you fucking decide to do it. Utilize the power of the energy. Utilize the power of where you're at in your path. It's fucking uncomfortable. It's supposed to be. Because things won't change until you change them. And often it's when we're, we're pushed into a space of so much dis-ease and uncomfortability, right? That we're finally sick and tired of being sick and tired. We're tired of this, we're tired of that. It's only when you reach the precipice of being tired of your own bullshit that you will take action in your own life. Put the work in. You're worth it. Love you guys.